da 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 Let's talk a little bit. I'm gonna end I'm gonna end my stream tonight talking about Disney. So the Disney afternoon, I didn't realize this was an afternoon. I think now that I'm thinking about it, I think this was after school and it wasn't Saturday morning. But that's okay. Yeah, I don't really have a real plan <laughs> to this stream. Uh, I just have a topic. I'm just, I'm just talking about my memories of cartoons. Um, so Disney, when I was growing up, it, it had its own TV station. And it would show Disney shows, but only on that station. And by the 80s, it had its own cable channel. So it had a TV station, a channel on TV already, and a cable channel. But, but by then, it had several like channels on, on cable. So it had Disney 1, Disney 2, Disney 3, 4, 5. But it also had, you know, Channel 4, I think it was, or Channel 7. I can't remember. But anyway, so it had both of the really powerful TV time periods. So, of course, they showed Disney shows. Duh. And did they have Disney? Did they show Disney cartoons? Yeah, of course they did. But they did something really, really interesting. They made a series of shows. Uh, DuckTales, um, Darkwing Duck, um, Chippendale, um... Uh, Tailspin, uh, all sorts of these uh, of these little cartoons. Again, very kind of mature shows. They involved Disney characters, but they were mature. They were they were for little kids who could understand. Oh, these are cute Disney characters, but they also had stories that older children could understand and follow and and, and really enjoy. When they had adventures, sometimes the adventures took several episodes if you missed an episode you would miss part of the story that happened which which most cartoons in this time they never did this they show one time and that's one story but disney disney adventures started to show connected stories and more and more other cartoons did the same thing you miss one episode you're kind of missing what happens in the plot it's quite quite interesting, and uh, the but the but the key point here is Disney had so much TV, but they still showed these Disney adventures, these Disney afternoon adventures, on regular TV, so that everyone could watch these shows. That was really interesting. Um, other brands didn't do that then and they still don't do it think about think about sony sony does this has this um strategy where if you want to their media you have to only go to them you can't get their content anywhere else if you want sony things you have to only go to sony and if you don't have access to it then you don't get to use it okay that that doesn't seem smart to me. Disney has their own channel, but they also let some of their content be available in other places. So you didn't feel like you were left out. Like, oh, I don't, I don't get to watch these things. Well, no, that's not true. You do get to watch some of the things, and Disney Adventures was one of them. So kids got to see Disney. And, uh, and, you know, of course, uh, that's great marketing because eventually when they want more Disney, they have to go, they'll convince their parents, hey, sign up for Disney Channel too because I want more Disney. And the parents would be like, oh, okay, fine. I'll we'll get Disney Channel. <laughs> now, now it's Disney Plus. You can still, that's another thing. You can still watch Disney on TV. You can still watch Disney on cable. But now we have Disney Plus. There's so many different ways you can watch Disney now. Um, and if you don't have access to to all of them, you still have access to Disney. Sony could kind of take a hint, you know. So why am I talking about Disney? Well, okay, so I have a little confession to make. Uh, I 
had actually watched a bunch of these. Towards the end of my high school life and, and early in, in college. So at the end of, of high school, um, I don't know. I didn't watch cartoons anymore. I was busy chasing girls and, and reading very serious books and, and, and trying to learn how to use computers and be like a real smart computer guy. But when I was bored, I would hang out with my little brothers who were just old enough to follow Disney adventures, and I'd watch it with them. So my brothers could understand Disney. They were just old enough to begin to understand, and I could understand Disney because it was right under my, my level. I could follow. I could enjoy. I could enjoy these cartoons just as much as my little brothers. Uh, the the stuff that they watched was a little bit too young for me. Like I, I was, I'm not into that baby stuff. But the Disney adventures. Absolutely. And that's how my brothers and I connected, is watching the Disney adventures. Even today, I can sing the theme songs to all the Disney adventure so uh, uh, shows. I, I know the theme songs. I'm not going to sing. Don't worry. Oh, in college, why did I watch these shows in college? Well, my roommates and I often had a lot of free time, and we were often bored. And we couldn't go anywhere because we had classes or part-time jobs or uh, club activities we had to do. So there was a lot of waiting time. And so what we would do is we'd watch these cartoons and uh, and just and, and and talk about girls and stuff while we were watching the shows, you know. So anyway, so that's it. That's the uh, that's Disney uh, afternoon uh, cartoons, and that is American cartoons. From Jack Detroit's memories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>